Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I am taking a look at the demo version of Exogenesis Perils of Rebirth. Uh, this is a game by Quan, and this is kind of an interesting game to cover because I rarely, rarely cover games from Kickstarter. However, I had the uh, lead designer of the game contact me and asked if I would take a look into it. And this game is already incredibly polished. Uh, it's right up my alley. It's not going to be for everyone because it is a visual novel. Um, he told me that they have taken a lot of inspiration from the Ace Attorney games as well as the Zero Escape games. And I am a huge fan of Zero Escape, so this has kind of really just been right up my alley. Um, but I'm looking at their Kickstarter, and let me see here. I'll just pull it up on my screen very quickly. They have 26 days to go, and they are at just shy of $6,000 out of the goal of 32000 So, hopefully, uh, you know, they can reach the goal. Hopefully this video will help encourage some of you to go ahead and help fund the game. But that's kind of the situation for the game. Um, PC, Mac, Linux, there is a demo available that is about four hours long. I have not quite completed it, and the game is set to be about 20 hours plus in total. So, let me jump in with a new game here, and we will see what is going on with Exogenesis. The anguish of the earth absolves our eyes till beauty shines in all that we can see. War is our scourge, yet war has made us wise, and fighting for our freedom, we are free. Horror of wounds and anger at the foe and loss of things desired all these must pass ah uh, yeah I knew that was gonna happen that goes by pretty fast um, and actually I need to go into settings here it looks like it's changed my settings a little bit I don't want any auto advance and I will turn the volume down just slightly okay it's impossible haha <laughs> you Oh yeah, and then we start with this. A uh, little bit of kind of graphic violence at the beginning, but after this there is not much. So, no, 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 don't say that. The place is rigged. If we touch those metal arms, we'll be blown to, slim to smithereens. Shut up. There must be something we can do. Please, leave me. I don't want you guys to see me die like this. It's a girl's request, okay, you? The young girl smiled bitterly. She ignored the pain from the wounds caused by the contraption that was about to end her life. No. Get a grip, you. We don't want to... Uh, don't you want to honor her dying wish? She's not going to die, Miho. I'm going to save you. Bad news, pal. The control panel ain't working. Sorry to say, but there's not much we can do now. You glared at Gunther with the fangs of a beast. He understood how futile his actions were but his sister was on the line. His only surviving kin who's been with him through thick and thin. There's no way he would give up easily. You heard him, you. Please, I don't want to burden you with the memory of my death. Let me pass on in peace. You started kicking and flailing in IG's arms, but it was no use. The older, stronger man had pulled him away from the contraption and towards the exit. You wasn't strong enough to break free from his well-meaning friend's grip. No, Miho. We've decided, uh, we've done everything we can. Let's get out of here. We were so close, no one knew its true nature, but acquiring the treasure of Kanakuji was supposed to be uh, Dirk Alton's crowning achievement. Our claim to fame, everyone called it the golden dream, and that dream is finally within our grasp. We were overconfident. No, man of a, no amount of anticipation could have prepared us for what transpired on that fateful day. With the vault right in front of our very eyes, Miho was overcome with glee. She ran towards our objective without a second thought. I wish I would have thought to stop her. The final trap that awaited us took Miho and Miho alone. For what seemed like an eternity, we struggled to find a way to, in to disengage the spears, piercing my sister's flesh. She was bleeding profusely, and the sight of it tore my heart in two. I heard her spouting nonsense, while I and the rest of the Dercalton scrambled for a solution to our dilemma. I refused to give up hope, but deep inside I knew that Miho was nearing the end. She was already seeing things, the delusions of a person knocking on death's door. I insisted we tackled the most dangerous of treasure hunts, one which gives even the most hardened treasure hunters cold feet. We will never go without food or a roof over our heads ever again, once we have the golden dream, I thought. I was wrong, and now Miho is dead. I killed my sister. 
So, that's kind of our, our immediate intro, kind of hitting it fast and hard into the game. And pretty soon we, here we will get another kind of intro cutscene that explains what's going on. But now we are two years later. This is it, you. That box looks tough. You sure you can open it? Are you kidding me? Don't underestimate my king key. I can hack into Sanctus's servers and mess them up so bad they'll never even know what hit them. Can you at least change its name? It always sounds wrong whenever I hear it. Huh? What's wrong with Kinky? Whatever. Just don't get us killed. These guys weren't so lucky. You pointed out at the corpses around them, horribly mutilated and barely recognizable. It didn't take an expert to figure out that they were the victims of an explosion. Whatever it was that Toshio was trying to unlock, it must be important. I'm on it. Toshio knelt next to the black container, unhindered by the dead bodies and detached limbs scattered around him. He pulled out a small screen device and hooked it up to the small box in front of him. There you go, easy now. After tinkering with his gadget for a bit, the metal cube's display lit up. Got it. What's wrong? Come on, check this out. Any minute now. Eh? Yu covered his ears, his expression deadpan, though he doubted Toshio would even be able to tell since his goggles were so foggy. Oh come on, I told you, it's virtually impossible for this thing to still be booby trapped after that explosion. No one would use an implosion type nuke as a security measure for anything less than last resort. If I'm right, this box must have been in a bigger casing and it's as compact as can be for, uh, for purpose. The outer display says it all, they couldn't even fit an access panel for it on the exterior anymore. Even with reinforced palladium glass, an explosion is no simple stress test. Whatever material they used for the display is top of the line, probably the product of rigorous R&D. Oh yeah? Let me see that then. Hmm, I've seen that logo before. Must be from a history book or something. It's a scabbard used in old samurai swords. Part of a katana, huh? It does look like one. I'm sure it is. Anyways, I'll have to download the data for now. As expected, the data is encrypted and I'll need time to decipher whatever Sanctus tried so hard to protect. You said something about the detonation triggering an alarm? Yes, Sanctus troops are probably on their way here right now. The GPA, too, if they somehow already know that their ambush plan failed. Time to split, then. I can't wait to get out of this suit, to be honest. Too stuffy. After I download the data. Geez, pay attention. Oh yeah, of course. I could not calm down. I tried to keep my cool in front of Toshio. But the truth is countless thoughts were running through my head. Is it really possible? Can Noah's Ark really turn back time? Is this another fruitless endeavor, or could my sister actually come back to life? This is obviously all a fantasy. Dead people, they're gone. If there's anything I've learned from this wretched wasteland, it's that people die. We are fragile creatures, and death takes you in for good. And then we end up in kind of this strange scene, and this is sort of the other part of the game. So, uh, as with the Zero Escape games, we've got our kind of conversational parts, and there are also interrogation parts, which I'm assuming kind of come from the Ace Attorney games. But then we've also got puzzle type things, which will be this room, and this is how I will finish out the video. I'll do this puzzle, and then that will be where I end this off. So, where am I? In this game, you interact with the world by clicking on objects. Try clicking on the lamp. Click. Then we can hide the user interface, but there's not much of a user interface anyways, so if I press the button, that's literally all it does, so it doesn't really bother me. But we can pick up these missing pages. Uh, July 6th, today we found another one of those digital ebook things on a tablet. Isn't that super lucky? It's rare to find a working one these days. I think the girl who used to own it really enjoyed living in the pre-Armageddon world. That reminds me, I've really started writing like an old world girl, huh? I love these cute emoticon things they used all the time. So then we get an inventory and we can do all kind of all the um, expected things with the inventory. You know, we can check out um, what we've got as well as combine things, all of that good stuff. Um, and I'm going to go through this pretty quickly course because I have already done this before so uh, July 19th look it's a uh, Ceres flower 
Aren't they pretty? Aren't they mysterious? They bloom only at night. The old man who gave it to me said it is uh, said it's the princess of the night. Cute, right? I wonder if I can be used princess. Bye bye. So that's another diary page. We've got this up here, which is actually going to help us solve a language. Uh, again, kind of a in a zero escape fashion. We definitely have some some logic puzzles going on. So, diary. I'm pretty sure I saw you reading you. Are you okay? He didn't do anything bad, did he? Stupid you. He's just pretending. Uh, yeah, he just pretended he was doing something else when he heard me coming. Can you believe it? He heard me from so far away. He has the ears of a doggy. Doggy. And one more. June 18th. You as an idiot. How could he do that to a kid? I know we might not run into supplies for a while, but what's going to happen to that kid? Can you believe it? Someone else will help him, he said. Stupid you. Um, and I wouldn't like to kind of take this moment here to talk about just how polished everything looks. Um, honestly, like, it looks like this could be in the series with the Zero Escape games. Like, that that's honestly how good it all looks. And that's just, like, crazy to me. Um... You know that even in this even in this early state, they've got it so polished and kind of like it, it feels ready to go right now. Obviously, they just need um, some extra funds to, of course, finish it up. Okay, um, am I missing one? I'm trying to remember. I oh. Okay, so we got one more. I didn't read that one, but I will now. June 25th. Hey, you know what? You got me a cute brooch. Stupid you can be such a good boy when he wants to. I have to be a good sister to him from now on to return his kindness. So now we can insert them, and at first thought you would think to insert them in the date order. Um, it actually turns out that you want to insert them based on the flower at the bottom. So I'm going to look through and that one would be first and then it looks like that one again this is because I solved the puzzle already um, the game would of course help you solve it after you do it wrong like I did so then we've got this kind of pinkish uh, we've got purple blue green yellow so pink purple blue green yellow Go over here, some sort of insert uh, input panel, which we will want, of course, to get the hammer. Pink, purple, blue, green, yellow. Now we can get the hammer. So you know it definitely follows like traditional kind of adventure game tropes. You're definitely going to be um, solving puzzles, things like that. Yep. Use the hammer, and then we can go in here and do this. And then we get. Uh, the brooch that we got for Miho and then we can go into our inventory combine this with our hologram and we get a hologram so if we look at this we are missing I A U J I A U J so of course now we have to go over to our cipher so I is 9 1 Four, one. So nine one four one. Perfect. Nine one four one. Okay. And that will get us out. And I believe this leads us to kind of an opening cutscene. Yes. So this will kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the game as a whole. I'm going to talk over it a little bit, but you can watch the cutscene as it goes by. Um, I want to, of course, take this cutscene and, and kind of talk about my overall thoughts of it so far. Um, so, I mean, like I mentioned briefly, uh, visual-wise, I think it looks fantastic. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely very, very professionally done. It definitely looks super polished so far, and I, I really like that. It looks like a full budget game and that's part of what makes me excited to see where they take it next 
Um, and then other than that, uh, music-wise, I think it's really, really good as well. Um, you know, you're, you're hearing a nice bit of music here, but there's, there's definitely other tracks as well throughout the game. And each area kind of gets its own track. Um, as far as length, like I said, uh, the demo is supposed to be roughly four hours long, and I've played maybe three hours of it, haven't quite had time to finish the demo yet. But then the full game is supposed to be 20 plus hours in total, which is fantastic. That definitely feels like a really, really good length. Um, but yeah, I mean, gameplay-wise, I think it's all really, really good. I'm really intrigued with the story. It's really kind of drawn me in already. And, uh, you know, everything about it, like the environment has really drawn me in. The story, like I said, has really drawn me in. It just feels really, really good. And out of like all of the kind of visual novels that have been coming out recently, or like visual novels that I've seen Kickstarters for, this is definitely the best. This really, really feels on par to something like the Zero Escape games, and that is such huge praise because in my mind, the Zero Escape series has kind of revolutionized the visual novel and turned it into something more than just a visual novel. And you know, I'm already starting to see this with this, you know, even just in that first intro puzzle, we had to solve a cipher, we had to kind of solve various puzzles to get it done just to escape the room, and that is all something that really feels very much like the Zero Escape games. So, uh, you know, that is where I'm going to leave it off, but as you can tell, I'm definitely a big fan of this. If you liked what you saw in about the first 15 minutes or so here, then uh, I would definitely recommend you to follow the link in the description to not only check out the Kickstarter and potentially pledge, but to download the demo and try out more for yourself, because we're just going to get into more story and kind of figure out more of the background between what's going on here and what has caused kind of this Armageddon but that is where I'm going to leave this off so yes definitely follow the link in the description check it out uh, if you like it do uh, you know pledge in some money but as always feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to comment about subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day and if you liked my look at exogenesis then please do consider clicking the like button because that helps me out a ton and i definitely appreciate everything you do to help so with all of that being said i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time